recording on the next video. Car wow, drag racing, another Audi. Well, this is a TT, hits a thousand horsepower. Which is quicker? What the hell? Drag race, a Koenigsegg Agera RS. Oh my god, me and Bzanch will say, uh, I did a video. I thought, what's the game again? I forgot what the game is. Oh my god, the, the game where we, I was racing, uh, Conan's Agera uh, RS, and it was a helicopter. I was racing from, I think, it was Las Vegas all the way to Seattle or something. Oh my god, what a beaut that was one of my favourite videos we ever did. Crew 2, that's the game. My favourite video. And the Agera RS in that video when I launched off sounded so beautiful. It was absolutely chef's kiss t a porsche 911 turbo s or an audi tt that has been tuned to the crazy well we're gonna find out as i race them over the standing quarter mile cam what you got i've got the coin exit i'm not gonna lie oh because i'm my watson and you're watching car wow buy sell car wow let me tell you about this Koenigsegg. It's got a five litre twin turbo V8 that pushes out 1,360 horsepower. The and damn! 570 newton metres of torque. And it weighs in a 1,390 kilos. So it's pretty much got a one to one power to weight ratio. Thing is, it's only rear wheel drive. So it's going to struggle to put its power down. Yes. Mm. And it has a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control, so that might help me out a little what bit is here. What does make me a bit nervous though is the price. This thing is yeah, 1.3 oh, million Damn. pounds. Oh my god! But it is special. It even has a special air vent that you can just remove like that. I'm not sure you're supposed to be able to do that, but just put that back in say sorry to the person that's lent me this Tom from Wambar check out his YouTube channel there's a link in the description we're on this car and it's a raft of crazy cars anyway let's move on to the Porsche 911 Turbo S Yanni, how are you? oh Yanni's back Young Matthew I'm very well with his Rolex you. how are you today well I'm good I'm sat in a very very blue car that is very very expensive what is the most expensive car you have ever driven Oh, good question. Bugatti? So I've driven a P1, LaFerrari, Pagani Waira. I don't know, what's, what's most expensive out of those three? I was hoping you were going to actually give me a value for them. But you, I don't know. Maybe the wire is similar to this. I don't know. What do you reckon? This is 3.5 mil. Have you driven anything worth 3.5 mil? Uh, what's the Bugatti Chiron? That's not anywhere near that, is it? Nah, mm, uh, I don't know. Probably not. Anyway, you don't know that stat. Do you know the stats on the actual car you're driving today? Yes. Reason, I've driven this a million times. So Porsche Turbo well, yeah, 3.8 flat 6, 650 brake, 820 mm -hmm. newton meters, I want to say. Eight speed dual clutch, about 1600 weight, and around 180,000 spondulies. Yeah. Why? I mean, you're pretty close on most of it. The torque's 800 newton meters, but what's 20 newton meters? It's not going to make much difference, is it? Anyway, let's go on to the Audi TT. Big up Sambo. These stroked 3 litre with a huge 75 mil turbo. So the engine's good enough for 1300, but today we're on low boost, unfortunately. We're on about 950 horsepower and manual box as well. Why are you on low boost? What's the matter with you? Do you think you're just going to win anyway? You just don't need the full 1300. Yeah, let, let's see, mate. Let's see. Hope for the best. I think your car is is heavier than this Koenigsegg. What does it weigh? Is it like, what, 1,600 50. kilos, 1,500? And we've got it pretty much stripped out, probably about 1,400. Well, this is just like made out of carbon fiber and all the lightness, so I, I think I'm beating you on the power to weight ratio here and definitely beating the Porsche, but you both have four wheel drive, which is gonna help you. One last question though, Sambo. How much do you think your car cost all in for buying the car and all the work you've done on it? I'd say 50 to 60 grand. Thereabouts. This could be very, very embarrassing if I get beaten by both those two cars. Anyway, let's find out what's going to happen. Before we do, though, if you're thinking about selling your car to, I don't know, fund a deposit on a type of car like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then come to your Check house. out Car Wow, the website. Click on the pop out banner up there. Before we do, customary car wow sound check, and I'm going to start it by revving up this yeah. Koenigsegg. Oh, damn. oh my god. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! The whole car just vibrates. Surprisingly pleasant. Go on, Yanni, rev up your car. Oh, nice. Sounds like a flipping vacuum. Rubbish. And Sambo, would you like to do the honours in your car? That's it. Give it the beans, son. Let's go. Matt, I just see Sambo in his car, yeah, even though he's got tin. Look at me, Matt, look at me. Look at me doing this. He's rubbing his hands. <laughs> Don't mess up the launch, mate. You're a virgin. Yanni's just trying to psych him out. I can't use that word on you, Twitch. We don't condone that. You can't drive like us, manual man. Mate, manual is what I do. You should jump over here and let me drive your car and show you how to drive it. Be my guest, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't exact. What the hell? Come on. What the fuck? Passing just beat the again. You know, I beat him. I beat him. I beat you. That was really close. Uh, I'm not sure whether my 3.5 million pound car beat your 180 thousand pound car, Yanni. Matt, I love you. You're coming like a rocket, but just not quick enough, pal. I crossed the line before you. Sorry. Did you really cross the line before me, or was it a Yanni? I crossed the line before me. No. It was, I crossed the line before you, mate, sorry. Eee. Okay, Sambo, how was that for you? Probably not too good. I think you got destroyed. Absolutely annihilated. But hey, 3.5 million car. Can't go wrong, right? Was your launch any good? Yeah, we got off the line not too bad, but I bogged in second to third. But it is what it is. No excuses. Well, there's always an excuse. The excuse is, it's best two out of three anyways. So let's do one more. Yes, ma. A Porsche flying. It's a kick down now. After third fourth, the Koenigs just comes in. But that what's happened to the TT? Yeah, look at that. See you later. Bye bye. It's coming quick. What? He lost again. No way. And there's a pot TT. Yeah. You won that one, Yanni. Thanks for pointing out the obvious, mate. By my calculations, that's 2 0. It's 2 0, and uh, Sambo, nah, he won't even close. <laughs> Never mind, we took the L. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds. Ah. The Koenigsegg was second with a time of 10.4 seconds. Just so you know, the Koenigsegg was running on a mix of super inladed and E85 fuel, so it wasn't at full horsepower and was most likely putting out about 1,250 horsepower. Though this won't have affected its quarter mile time much as traction, not power, was the issue. And the Audi was last. It took 12.4 seconds to complete the standing quarter mile. Oh dear. Fox is not happy, man. Yeah. Well, Yanni, yeah, it looks like the TT has retired. It's just me and you. That's the best way, mate. The fans love it when it's you and me. Let's do this, baby. Okay, let's let's do it. That's the problem when you have cars that are like built up. I realise I'm going to need this. <laughs> I've just put it into launch control. I'm doing everything wrong myself. There we go. OK, then, we're going to do 40 miles an hour, second gear, sportier setting. I'll call it in, race to the half mile, OK? Yeah, the corners are just clever. Right, let's do it from 50. Here we go, in second gear. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye, Yanni. Bye-bye, Yanni. Yeah, bye bye, Yanni. You're not beating on the Royal University again. I'm sorry. Wow. Fucking hell. I think I got to about like 180, 190 or something. It was insane. 192. Wow. Wow. wow.
Oh, that look insane. To be fair on this car, I mean, obviously it's not designed to launch. That's how you won the drag race. Would have been different on a prep surface and if this could fully hook up, had the traction and stability control off and I could actually get full traction. But when you're in a rolling race, this thing on boost, it just flies. Did I just like disappear? You were just putting lengths upon lengths. I was just watching in awe. And you gotta remember, I'm not in a car that's no slouch. So the way you're putting lengths on this car, yeah, it was incredible. There's your three and a half million. Exactly. Anyway, you won the drag race. I've won the rock. Anyway, you've won the drag race. I've won the rock. Anyway, you've won the drag race. I've won. No, let's go. <laughs> anyway, you won the drag race. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, you won the drag race. I won the rolling race. race. Simple. Just scrambles it. Right, I'm gonna try again. Deep breaths. Calm down. Oh, Matt. Anyway, you won the drag race. I won the rolling race. I did it. I said it. I beg you, keep that in, please. That was absolutely hilarious. Anyway, let's do the brake test. Now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach line for emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another drag race video with a hypercar, click on the pop out banner up there. I'll put the link in the description below. Can I beat the Porsche? I'm not sure I will. Bloody hell. This stopped really nicely. Is it Bloody hell, 3.5 million down the flipping. Day. Interesting, I was looking at your back right wheel, just stopped on its own. There's not much I can say about that really, other than a huge thanks to Tom from Big Wham up, Tom. Barn for lending us this car. Head to their YouTube channel, link is in the description, okay? Go follow them there and comment on their latest video, Lend Matt another one of your amazing cars from your collection to drag race the more comments he gets more subs the more likely he is to do that for us i hope you'll enjoy the video if you did give it a like click on that thank you i appreciate that matt i am going to hit a like obviously because i appreciate every con all the content that you do i was very shocked um but it happens traction control and that's definitely the test i won that in every series perform probably except for the rolling race Ooh. That's a nasty way of thought. But thank you everyone. See you later. Bye bye.